Yeah. I, I, I mentioned on, on, on my earlier video that it was important to uh, to dome the bottom of your displacer and the hot cap. Now you might wonder what the reason for this. You might think, well, it gives you a little bit extra surface area. Well, that is right, but, but that's not the, the reason that I do it. The thing is that the um, one thing, a flat, a flat bottom can act as a, a diaphragm, which could g rob you of a little bit of energy. Not a lot, I don't suppose, but anyway, that, that's not the main reason. The reason is, is that the air chamber and the displacer, the clearance between the bottom of the displacer and the hot cap is very small. It's only, in fact, I'm going to put my dial test indicator on there to demonstrate how much movement there is, how much clearance. I'll put it in the chuck so it's a bit more, it's a bit steadier. There it is. And we'll put the uh, we'll zero zero up, and I'll press down, and you'll see it's only ten. It's about twenty five thou in English. Tw twenty five thou. That's the only that. No, it's touching. It's touching the bottom. You can hear it touching the bottom. It's only twenty five thou. Now you see what happens if if I use. I'm going to break the film for a second. I'm going to reset up to show you what happens with a flat bottom. There, I've now set up a, a, a flat-bottomed container, and I'm going to warm it up to see what happens. I'll zero it. Here it is. I'm going to heat the bottom as if you see. It's retracting. It. That's a uh, sixty, sixty thou, seventy thou, eighty thou. There's that's a, a lot more than the clearance between the the, the air chamber and the, the displacer. So when you warm the engine up, it's not going to run because the the it's going to it, it's the, the the bottom is retreating from the flame so it's going in inside and it, it would foul the uh, the displacer and it, it, it won't oscillate the thing is there mustn't be any there mustn't be any touching everything has to there has to be free movement there mustn't be any friction whatsoever it has to it has to ring it has to uh, because it relies on vibrations now you've, if I put a, um, another hot I'll put the hot top now underneath there Zero that. And I'm going to heat this one, and you'll see that it, it, it expands in the opposite direction. Oh, <laughs> I've, I haven't got any movement on the dial test indicator. Now expanding now towards the flame. You see, so in other words, it's giving more clearance. You see, so so now we'll have the 25,000, which was the original clearance, plus the clearance that we have there now. We've got uh, 40,000. You see, but of course, when when the uh, displacer warms up, that one's also going to. Um, expand by possibly 40,000, so they're going to follow each other all the time. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping that that's uh, made it clear. Um, it's, it's, we hope so. <laughs> Thank you for watching.